That's the guitar stylings of one Duke Tomato, along with the power trio in the performance room. Our house band today. Thank you very much, Duke. The Nap Auto Parts Studios uh, would feature today. What? It, it's Chick McGee across the way. There is uh, there's Ace Cosby, our engineer. Eddie Hazel also handling the engineering duties today, mixing the sound with Duke. Sound Sister with Hazel, we call him. Uh, that's false. <laughs> and we have uh, Josh Arnold on the way to St. Louis to be in a wedding in his black suit. Yeah. And uh, probably borrowing a pair of shoes for me. I think I've got a pair of dress shoes that I've worn maybe once. All right. I'll um, bring, bring them in. I'd much prefer that than to purchase them. I think I'm a size 12. You're an 11 and a half, so just get some... Uh, Wear nice, some comfortable socks. Nice thick socks. Okay. Your, don't your feet always keep growing? They never stop, right? They stop. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Otherwise, there'd be 90-year-olds with size 24 <laughs> feet. It all looked like giant clowns. No, I think it's... <laughs> slightly. There's some, as with everything I say, there's some truth in there somewhere. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's your crispy. nose and your ears and your feet keep growing. Uh, right. They spread out, I can tell you that. No, spread they, out. Spread <laughs> out. I'm standing on them so much. There's a hair issue there. Uh, we have uh, uh, Christy Just Lee right you. there. Thank there you very much. Feet? Duke Tomato and the Power Trio, by the way, uh, Saturday... Uh, coming up on Saturday, January 26th in St. Louis, the BB's Jazz, Blues, and Soups Club will feature Duke. And Friday evening, February 8th, Chicago's Kingston Mines with Duke, Tomato, and the Power Trio. Now, uh, Christy, where were we? Well, we were in the news from the world of science. Even insects... Science! Stop that. <laughs> ...grow old before they die. Who? Um, insects. Oh, oh, oh. Well, yeah. Among the mammals, birds, reptiles, and even fish, signs of aging are easily observed. Why don't birds just drop out of the sky and oh. die? They like, do. As they're flying, it, they it happens. Die. It does? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It does. When, <laughs> wait, wait. So you're driving along <laughs> and a bird plops in the highway down. No, I'm not saying I've ever seen it. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you maintain your contention is... Yeah, that, that happens. Yep. You know, you bring up a very good point, Chick. Why doesn't that happen? I guarantee Sorry. there's a bird flying around, all of a sudden he just has a heart attack and drops like a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> he, he croaks and so, so this is about this is about insects. Yeah, the aging process though, very uh, it's a very hard to see in insects. It's well, less because visible. they're because they're so small. Well, right. think about it, though. <laughs> I mean Jiminy Cricket had the cane. Sure, yeah. yeah. He had a top hat too, didn't he? He sure yeah, did. Yeah. Son of a, and spats. Now he's. Yes. You see, have you seen Jiminy Cricket lately? <laughs> no. Oh, it's sad. He's got a walker with a tennis ball. Oh. <laughs> the guy knows how. He knew how to dress. <laughs> Sharp dressing. <laughs> yeah, he sure was. So once again, uh, today the top hat was invented. What three hundred years ago? <laughs> Seven hundred fifty-seven or something. And so the top it? hat. We've decided the three. Seventeen ninety-seven. I the apologize. three top top hats. I think we may have to have a human being versus cartoon. Number here. one, Mr. Peanut. Yes. Number two. Abraham Lincoln. Jiminy Cricket now. I think Jiminy Cricket is done. He beats Michigan J. Frog? No, 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 no. Okay, Michigan J. Frog, then Jiminy Cricket. I don't think there are any humans with top hats that I uh, respect. From Guns N' Roses. Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. No. Is that it? I guarantee you it wasn't Slasher's idea to put the top hat on, I bet. I bet somebody well, had, him, had him do that. It's his trademark. What the hell's wrong with you? Guy. Slash has been here. He's cool. I guess. Oh, my God. That's quite a top hat he's got, too, isn't it? Quite a head of hair. Yeah. Yeah, well, he's yeah. a lot of hair there. Um, and uh, I'm sorry. Hung like his handle on his guitar is what I heard. Oh, boy. Mm. New research confirms even short-lived species like field crickets experience physical decline before they die. You get wrinkles and whatnot? I guess. It's hard Every, to see a wrinkly cricket, but... So that, no, that noise they make is from... You know what that's from? Restless leg syndrome. Yeah, they rub their. Yeah, they rub their, their legs together. Yeah, they rub an aspir cream on their legs. Are killing them. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> so we know. Is that know what that. that's for? I guess. I, uh, <clears throat> Speaking of old. Yeah. Ninety-four-year-old Dorothy Bale's been working at the Arby's in Holiday, Utah, for twenty-five years. I bet she never gets an order wrong. I what bet she does it. I you? bet she's a great employee. <laughs> what a dick. Are you attacking? <laughs> Jeez. During her tenure at the Arby, she's outlasted two remodeling I'll have, efforts. I'll have two beef and cheddars. <laughs> and 21 managers. And Here's your th- seven potato cakes. <laughs> yeah. You nailed it again, Dorothy. <laughs> no, I said beef and cheddars. <laughs> she works the counter, takes order at the, at the register, and keeps I, tables and condiments bars. I'm sorry, clean. what's her name being Dorothy? Dorothy Bale. Thank yes. you, Dorothy. Thank Don't you, Dorothy. ignore these two buffoons. <laughs> right. <laughs> 
because hey, how about sure. those curly fries, Dorothy? I ate at Arby's yesterday. It's my favorite fast food place. Now, many uh, do not know this. Uh, Christy Lee, uh, her first... her broadcast career began at Arby's at uh, the drive-through. And you would do a weather on the tens, and then <laughs> welcome to Arby's. May I take your order, please? Yeah, can I? Can we get Dorothy, please? No. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Yeah, Why not? I need. A, I wanted to take an hour and a half to ha for her to hand me my soda. Um, okay, I had a dilemma yesterday at the drive-through. Tell me. Do you ever pull tell up? Tell me. Tell me everything. Oh, wait, were you in your car that has the wrong the drivers things in the wrong? No, side? no, that I don't. I can't do drive-throughs in the right-hand drive car. But what? If you, it, right hand drive car. She has a car that <laughs> has the, the drive the the, the on steering the right wheels side on the right drive. side. That sounds like something Bell Darko would say. <laughs> I was in a right-hand drive car. <laughs> no, you pull up. And the guy in front of you sits there for a long time, and then the second person sure. went, yeah. and you could hear them speaking, Right. Yeah. but then I pull up, nothing. Okay. Nothing. How long do you... And there are like seven cars behind me. So you, give, are, you give the old, hello? I what are, going, hello? So what are you thinking? Is it personal at this point? Because that's where I go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they like, saw me as the... You spoke to the person ahead of me. Is it broken? Is it not working? It's not something like this. Go ahead. Say hello. Hello? I am f tired. <laughs> I don't care, Dorth. I need a big Montana. I need it stat. Let's go, I Donnie. Tired. You know what stat oh. is. You hear the doctors say it every week when you walk in. <laughs> My suggestion is every drive thru should have a mirror so they can see. Don't they have a TV camera in that thing? They didn't have one at this particular oh, TV camera. Wait a minute. What happened again? Well, how'd you get your food? Well, I drove up to the window and I told the woman, I said, You realize you have eight cars behind me? She goes, Oh, no. I had no idea. So, yeah, there was an there was She didn't an tell you something like, hey, you don't tell me my business, lady. <laughs> Why don't you move it along? Yeah, it must not have been signaling them. She was quite We never nice. have had with Dorothy, the most competent worker in the history of Arby's. Right. She's still 94. there. 94. How this many is, managers she been through? And she started when she was 69. <laughs> Speaking of roast beef, you know what I mean? That's, that's a big Montana. I'll tell you that. Cram some of that back uh, in there. Will of you? course, this is not. I would <laughs> love to go see Dorothy. Could we me move too. on? Here's Just what's happened to me. I'll be at five fifteen in the morning, but they say they're open at five. I've pulled up to a McDonald's. I've said hello. Nothing lit up like a Christmas. Yeah, they're they're working. Hello, nothing. They're not, hello, nothing. There's no one hanging went out. Went up to the went up to the first window. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. I've had a. And I'm I'm sure it's because they saw me yeah. Yeah. and said, "Don't answer." He he gets nothing. I've had a drive-through person stop speaking to me, <laughs> <laughs> and I just had to pull up to the window. Are you serious? I was in a silly mood, and oh. uh, they, 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 uh -huh. did, they, did their pencil run out of lead? What she goes? What can I get you? Yeah, and you, I, you hear what he said there? The yeah. Because you ordered. You yes, ordered Tom. Too much. <laughs> she couldn't possibly write that. <laughs> yeah. No, I pulled up. She said, "Welcome to Starbucks. What do you want?" And I was feeling silly, and I said, "Non-fat, no whip, mocha frappuccino, venti, pretty please." Well, that's nice. That's sweet. And then there was a minute of nothing, <laughs> <laughs> and I go, "Hello," and I so I just had to drive up to the window. Maybe she, she had my drink. Maybe she had to suffer through some acapella event the night before. I was like, and had had it. I go, "How about that song?" She didn't say anything. <laughs> she, just, oh. <laughs> she hated it. I was just trying to be silly. Okay. Well, well, that's your, interesting. What was your order again, though? Non-fat, no whip, mocha frappuccino, venti. Jesus. That is, uh, <laughs> no extra hot or anything <laughs> like that? I can't say it's a tall order because it's a venti order. Yeah. Right? That's, yeah. Uh, that's quite a bit. That is uh, that's a mouthful. It is, but it is a tall order. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that brings us, this is weird, him singing. There's a rumor on the internet now that Josh Arnold is the singer for the new theme to the new True Detective coming up on... What? HBO. What? Starting, I think. Uh, has it already started? Did it start last weekend? Yeah. With uh, the guy from Moonlight. He's the detective yeah. this year. I'm, I'm not allowed to discuss that, but uh, there is a. So room. apparently, the theme to the new true, true Detective, the guy singing the new theme, it sounds like Josh Arnold. The tweet hmm. goes like this I need 100% proof that this isn't Josh Arnold singing. Do we have okay. the audio? audio? Sorry. Well, we're we're going to work on that. Okay. All right, hmm. uh, Josh Arnold and the Consensuals, his band. He just started <laughs> singing. I wasn't going to mention it, but I, I, I think it uh, would fit perfectly. See, I right? think it would be sweet if you sang to me at the. If I were working the drive-through window, I would have been very impressed. Yeah, I just figured. Oh man, she she's put up with a day. lot of nonsense. Yeah. She didn't need that. We don't know what people are going exactly, through on a day-to-day -day basis. So, yeah, the, last, the last guy that did that came through and said, "I'm not wearing any pants." You know, they had to call the cops. <laughs> yeah. I 
I went. I went to a. I was at a drive-through, like in, in a Wendy's or something. And this woman was there. She was very polite and very nice, and she just had this beautiful smile. Hmm. So as I, you know, being me, no filters whatsoever, I said, "What a lovely smile!" And I thought, "Oh God, you know, you're going to get like some <laughs> kind of stuff." And she goes, "Oh, thank you very much." And I was totally surprised that she was pleased by that. Well, you know? that's a nice compliment. She did it. Why you'd be upset by that? And she said, I can take it out for you. If you oh. Like. <laughs> no, see, I wasn't you going there. <laughs> you can put them on your dash if you want. My Here's a lady that house. wasn't so nice. Okay. I don't know if you heard this, but a Phoenix There's woman. There's a switch, a lady that wasn't so nice. Yeah. yeah, she's been accused of stalking a guy she met on a dating site and sending him more than 65,000 text messages. But it looks like apparently she sent more than twice that many According to police records, Ms. Jacqueline uh, Addis, Addis, A-D-E-S, I don't know how you would say that, Addis? Let's go with Addis. Sent the man more than 159,000 text messages, some of which were quite threatening. Oh. This happened over the course of nearly 10 months, and the two had gone on one single solitary date. The man whose name has not been released called police after Addis parked outside his home in July of 2017. God. Paradise Valley officers escorted her off his property, and that's when police say Addis began threatening the man. One text read, quote, I'd make sushi out of your kidneys and chopsticks out of your hand bones. Yikes. Hmm. That's pretty specific. Sushi? Yeah. She'd make sushi out of what? Out of his kidneys. Ooh. She's eating raw kidneys is what she's saying there, buddy. That's the last time he goes on Match.com and puts must-love Asian food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man. Hmm. How many texts did she send? 159,000. Whoa. Whoa. Cuckoo. That's right out of Fatal Attraction. Mm -hmm. Sure. One date. One date. Yikes. And you wonder why I canceled my match. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's, uh, yeah, that's, that's, probably the, that's pretty kooky. Yeah. Uh, um, Here's a happy story. No. All right, good. What? Okay. You don't want to do a happy story? No, I was just, no, I was just thinking that. What? You know, you're, you don't want to be alone in this world. Sure. And you know, you're, you know, how you define lonely. How? <laughs> it's when the only texts you get are Amber Alerts. Yeah, that's. Uh... <laughs> or traffic accidents. I get those. <laughs> or from your simply safe home security system. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Saying that someone is. Yeah. You know, your, your home is armed. It was yeah. a cat mm -hmm. the last time I bought this. A Kentucky based company will make you slippers that look like your pets. Oh, this is so cool. You is provide it? a photo of your pet along with specific details about your pet's unique characteristics, and then for $199, you get a pair of handmade slippers. Hmm. The company's partnership with Greater Good means every purchase from Cuddle Clones gives a shelter animal three meals and a toy. Oh, well, I like Sweet. that. That's a nice thing. Hmm. Cuddle Clones also offers a variety of other pet replica gifts, including stuffed animals, golf club head covers, hmm. holiday stockings, and purses. I can see a lot of people having fun with this. Oh, well, this yeah. is super cool. I don't know about that, but I think people would enjoy it. I mm -mm. seriously considered it for your Christmas gifts this year. I'm glad you... Uh... Well, you know, I don't remember what you, you got us. Because you have two dogs, but, oh. and it was hard for me to make decisions because you both have two dogs. And it now, was... Would you prefer if the slippers looked like you? So when you walked up to your dog, they'd look down and see your head, <laughs> and then they'd look up and see your head? I'd prefer that the slippers look like slippers. Yeah. yeah. I like this is such slippers. a cool program. What's nope. it called? Cuddle? No, Cuddle clones. No. Nope. The name's a little creepy, but I think that's really great. This idea then, is a dog, and for that reason, I'm out. <laughs> Okay. Uh, um, I'd like a size 14 in Fido uh, for my... So you would, like a, you would like some of these? Yeah, I'm trying to find a picture of one of these. Um, oh, here we go. Well, how do you know if it's accurate? Um, well, well, there's a picture of a doggy. Oh, my God. It's they just, pick, they just pick a golden retriever. Oh, no, this is they? dead on. No, they... No, they've got... this. They do like, the picture of your dog. Mm -hmm. This looks like a collie mix. Come here, Josh. Look at this. Do the, have to? The two slippers <laughs> look just like this dog. <laughs> how can you not love these? Look, easy. look at this. <laughs> <laughs> wow, God, you guys. Uh, just I mean, yeah, it looks like you're dog. Nothing but hate. <laughs> nothing but hate. First, you, you attack a, a, the aging Dorothy, who's working hard, probably because her social security isn't Not enough to get work. food. Aww. Now you're attacking. <laughs> look at this. Okay, look, look at this. Look at the cat. Ratings would be way higher. If we look, I, I'll give it to you. These slippers look Tom just like from an, a maudlin moment. Oh, they, here's <laughs> what. If you no, have two dogs, fantastic. this lady has one foot as one dog and the other foot as the other oh, dog. Oh, yeah, I've got to get these. Yes. They look just like the dogs, but 200 bucks? Come on, man.
Yeah, but it's also part of an, a, a pet support program. Yeah, well, yeah, Come th on. three meals and a toy. Go ahead and give 200 bucks to a shelter <laughs> and <laughs> maybe get eight meals and oh, seven yes, toys. See, why bother adding the component of joy to the lives of everyone around you who goes, oh, my God, look, your shoes look just like your dogs. Why do that? Just paint the whole world gray. First of all, and just... there's only like three or four people that see me in my slippers, for starters. You got the ice cream store. We <laughs> have... You got the guy from the liquor store. You got the a... guy from the liquor store. <laughs> we have a very special email that just came in that has to be read immediately. Okay, okay go. All right, we sure. were talking about Dorothy, the uh, Elderly Arby's, woman yes. who the is uh, working woman at Arby's. She's God 94 years old. This email says, you mentioned Dorothy. Uh, I work at a dental office. We go to that Arby's at least once a week and see her. Oh. She is still... She's still bright as can be, but... She does get the orders wrong every now and then. Well, of course Everybody she does. does. If you worked at Arby's, you'd get the artist of the people to be going, ah, oh, there's a bite out of my sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> well, How come I, I only have one third of my curly fries? to make sure they were fresh. Well, you tell Quality those control. men and women at the dental office to tell Dorothy we said hello yes, next please time they go. Tell I'm sure Dor she's yes. great. Good yes. for her. Go ahead and tell her. To write things down. Which you... Okay. Oh, My sure, grandmother's sure. name was Dorothy. I love that name. I love her. She's sweet. You have no idea. You think you've seen Josh upset. <laughs> Yesterday at uh -oh. breakfast, the waitress took our order and didn't write anything down. And I thought he was going to lose his mind. Well, she, did she get it all right? She did. She did. We were we were both very surprised. She yes, got it right. because they were semi-complicated orders. There were three of us, right. and the, she did a fine job. How do you complicate the order? Well, I, uh, I I got this a big... A lot of substitutions, I'm guessing. In this case, I didn't want a hard-boiled egg in the salad because I had already had eggs, and I uh, wanted a different... Did you, what did you substitute it with? Uh... Pizza. A slice of pizza. <laughs> I said, well, you take uh, three slices of pizza, cut them up. <laughs> Is this what you want to hear? Yes. Yeah, that was exactly... Is that what you want? That's what I was going for. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to substitute the substitute the lettuce with pizza, <laughs> and, uh, and instead substitute of, uh, the tomato with instead sponge. of the red onion. Can I get three scoops of ice cream? Is that possible? <laughs> Trying to eat healthy here. No, get rid of the tomatoes and the lettuce. I'd like fudge. <laughs> God, Dorothy, I'm sure you're wonderful. I'm sure she. I fun. think she's great. I, I would love to go see her. I'm sure yes. that's great that she's working and probably keeping busy, which is good for you. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. very. Of course very it good. is. Okay, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> I can't believe you guys don't want to get these dog no. slippers. No, and I'm glad I didn't spend all that money. Yeah, that's. I want uh, Christy. I would have gone berserk. They're fantastic. Just make what sure you, you get, get the get ones for. Christy? What's the name of this place again, Christy? This this Forgot is the she got for this Christy. is the. I got you the doggy cam that shoots trees. The doggy out. cam that shoots trees. Come yeah, on. This is the cuddle clone. <laughs> yes. Make sure you get this one and don't get the Come ones. On. Don't get the shoes get from the. Bucks. Don't get the shoes from the hush puppy mill. Oh. Uh, there. God, I'm happy now. Hush puppy mill. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, we found that uh, song that uh, Josh is singing uh, for True this Detective. Coming back. <laughs> no, it's just like him. Okay, we got more coming. Stick around. This yeah. is the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom.